Hello, this guy I don't like my hair. Um, today I will be making a tutorial for Adobe Illustrator, which I usually don't do because I just learned how to use the program, and it's actually a really nice program for just sketching out your basic drawings and stuff. Now, it really doesn't matter what color your what color palette you're using. I'm using CMYK. I don't know why, but I just like it better. Anywho, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make fire. I, I looked this up on YouTube and I could not find a single video that even related to Adobe Illustrator. Mostly it was all Adobe After Effects, CS4, and whatnot. Anyway, I'm using CS2, so if you find that anything is different, that's probably why. What I use in school is CS, which I don't like because it has no options that I have. Anywho, I'm just going to get right to the tutorial then. First you just draw your basic flame. I'm not sure if you can, how well you can see that. Then when you're done with that, yeah. Um, you're... Okay, you have two color things. One has a square in the middle. That one should always have the red X through it. The one without it should be filled with orange. You should fill it with orange so that way it turns up like that. And just keep doing that as it just gradually gets lighter. Now, take this as an example. See, it's lighter. And now just keep doing that until you have about four, three or four different. They have, they have. Oopsie, messed up with that one. Not that great with a mouse. I'm used to a tablet now because I had to get used to a tablet. Stupid tablet! They ruin your life. They ruin your life, especially when you don't own one. It's just terrible. Anywho, well, come on. Jesus, I'm better than this. Anyway, okay, now you just make this one like almost like purely white. Yeah. After so, you just select all of your little colory things. Now, this is very simple. Now, you always have to make sure that this is on a clear, because if it's black, I'll show you what happens if you have your outline. Then you go to Object, Blend, Make, or you can press Alt, Control, B. That's what's going to happen if you have a black outline. Which, yes, I know, it looks very cool, blah, blah, blah. That's not what you're looking for. Now, just click the red X, see it says None. Then you should have this. This should be your end result, actually. It should be better but I'm not sure why it's not better. But anyway, yeah. So I hope that this helped. Stay subscribed for more tutorials and whatnot. So I'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye.